Welcome to Drawfee, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Nathan. I'm Julia. I'm Jacob. And um, if you couldn't tell by that roll call, yes, it is true. I, Nathan, have usurped Jake in the J Crew. He has to be Jathan for this episode. I'm Jathan. Jathan. I'm Jathan for this episode. This is a, a special draw class episode that is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with more than 12,000 classes in design, illustration, and more. It's a lot of classes. It's a lot, a lot of, of classes. classes. Yeah, I mean, if you're watching this video, it means that you're probably interested in learning about drawing. But if you actually want people who are skilled <laughs> enough to <laughs> share their knowledge with you. Nice, dude. Maybe go to Skillshare and check them out. They've got so much stuff. I'm taking a class there. I'm learning about digital painting because that's something that I've always thought is really cool, but is just sort of one step removed from the sort of art that I do. But they have this class by uh, Hardy Fowler, which is an awesome name, and it just teaches you how to make a digital painting from sketch to finish. And there's all sorts of classes for whatever you might be interested in. Uh, former Drawfee guest Sarah Anderson has a class on there about making web comics. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool. It's great. You can get a premium membership, begins at just $8 a month for unlimited access to learning. And you can get three months of Skillshare for just 99 cents by clicking the link in the description and using the promo code Drawfee. That's actually dope. I'm yeah, going to do that. Yeah, I am legit going to sign up. For yeah, that we're allowed to use the promo yeah. code, right? Yeah, it's great. Yeah, cool. it's three months. So you can, however many classes you think you can take in three months. All of them. Challenge yeah, accepted. it'll happen. Yeah, no do sleep. it. 12,000. Anyway, before you get on to the real learning, you have to watch this video. Do some fake learning. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to teach you about drawing mythical creatures because we've been doing, uh, I, I, I've been watching you guys. You're giving a lot of info about drawing like people uh -huh. and mm -hmm. stuff that mm -hmm. exists in the real world. And um, no longer. No longer. In Nathan, is it is it mythical creatures or just fantastical creatures? Fantastical creatures. Because we don't want to be. Right. We don't want to be right. limited to. We ain't going to teach you how to, to draw extant. sphinx. Yeah, no. I might. We're gonna, oh, yeah, you're, Jacob might. We're, we're, we're going to teach you about designing your own creatures. And creatures is a very broad term. So I'm going to start us off just drawing sort of a... Um, an orb. An orb, yeah. I mean, uh, what you want to do is start off with a shape, give your creature some form. So I'm just going to give it this sort of bulbous body. Why are you starting with a circle, Nathan? Because circles are nice. It's oh. not... <laughs> it's not a... <laughs> <laughs> you can go a lot of places from a circle. You can go a lot of places from a circle. I mean, it's sort of an organic shape. It's not like a perfect circle. This is sort of like a like an, an egg. An egg, which um, you know, you can build out from. And then I'm gonna give it like a head, maybe up here. It's a good place for a head. That's a good place for a head, maybe. We're off to the races. We're off to the races, and then we're gonna connect the head to the body using some curved lines. So you're you're going with some sort of a uh, animalistic. Mythical creature. Yeah, I think an animal. Fantastical creature. Yeah, an animal. A fantastical beast, and, and, and here's where you find him. <laughs> a fantastical beast, and here's where you find him. Yeah. The this... movie was really long, considering all he had to do was come to draw fate and just... And just find it. Yeah, like, it's right here. Search it, man. W what's great about uh, fantastic creatures is you can sort of combine elements from things found in nature and sort of tweak them to your purposes. Right, like the uh, Ents in... Lord of the Rings. Just it's like a tree, tree but dudes. alive. Yeah, Tolkien. Tolkien was like, "What if? What if tree but dude?" Yeah. My mythical creatures are heavily influenced by dinosaurs, just because like that's what I was into when I was little. I like drawing dinos, so I draw a lot of dinosaur esque monsters. Yeah, Nathan draws the best T Rex face in profile on the fly that I've ever seen anyone. Yeah. It's literally all I did in third grade was draw T Rexes. <laughs> I thought they were so cool. You had a rad third grade. Yeah, yeah really. Uh, I think I was drawing Kirby in third grade. Yeah, I drew a lot of Kirby too. But like, yeah. if if you're into drawing like doggos or horsies, like draw draw a horse dragon. No one's telling you not to. Take a horse, put on some wings. Now you got yeah. a Pegasus. Yeah, that's uh, what's nice about fantastical creatures is that you can play around with it as long as it looks like it somewhat makes sense. You can do whatever you want. Jacob mentioned that uh, that T Rex. Face and profile. Oh, so, I'm, oh, are we gonna get one of those on? Here? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best. Basically, they've got sort of like a front part, right? And then they've got these like eye lumps, mm -hmm. and then they have these real like sort of sunken in sockets. 
and these little beady eyes. A thing you'll notice Nathan doing a lot, which is just good art practice in general, is that he uses these big basic shapes yeah. for whatever it is he's trying to draw. So he made like one circle for the top of the head, one circle for like where the snout will go. And just laying it out like that can really help you just get a sense of the space it's going to take up so you can get your proportions correct. Right. Like what we did with the um, how to draw people faces. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Everything is circles. Yeah. Everything is circles, so which I is should, bad for me. So I should give it like cool hair because that's what you did with the right. people face. I am going to give it some cool hair. Please do. It's a fantastical creature, It's a man. fantastical creature. It looks like he's going, ah, cha cha Yeah, he's, he's pretty coy. He's, he's a sassy dino. Yeah. <laughs> is this dino like someone's uh, like assistant or pet or like uh, yeah, something like that? Yeah, I, like... I like to think he's, he's prob- this is probably a mount. Now okay. that I'm like looking at, so does he the need way... like a, a saddle or something? Like, yeah. how big is this dino? I want to see how big this saddle turns out to be. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, so he's real big. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. This is a big boy. Is this an epic mount? Would you say? I would say it's an epic mount. It's like one of those rare ones that you can get as a drop from one of the raids. Yeah. Nathan, I know I say this every time you draw something, uh-huh. but I legitimately like this drawing. Oh, that's so nice. It's like it's so well done. Oh. I could yeah, not have drawn nice. this off the top of my head. You, you got a good depth to it. Yeah. And a good, like, fullness of Yeah, like, those back figure. legs are really, really yeah. selling it. See, this is why I wanted to come on J. Crew because this positive energy, I, I love it. You I... can't get enough of it. This is Yoshi. This is <laughs> also. <laughs> this is an epic Yoshi. Uh, this is epic Yoshi. Oh, I did, okay, so if it's Yoshi, I got to give him his, like. <laughs> yeah, you just drew, <laughs> you drew an epic Yoshi. I just, <laughs> it's a four-legged Yoshi. <laughs> But he also is going to have real cool hair. Gonna I give pictured him, him trying to squeeze through my office building door. <laughs> <laughs> Doing his um, little uh, leg kickies yeah. as he tries to jump higher. But he's like destroying all of traffic in yeah. the process. He's like kicking cars into other buildings. Wow, this looks like a, a 90s cartoon. Yeah, the hair totally did just transform <laughs> yeah. it. It's like a biker mice from Mars sort yeah. of vibe. Or like a, a, a baddie that would be in... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, like, 90s cartoon. Yeah, if you just put some, like, uh, rectangular sunglasses on him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. He's just the dude from Comic Zone now, <laughs> but turned into a dinosaur. <laughs> I feel like this guy needs a catchphrase. Like, there's one, like, <laughs> like bodacious. <laughs> Dinomatic. 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 Dinorific. Dinomatic, yeah. Dino. Yeah, it doesn't, mean, it doesn't mean anything. No, it certainly doesn't, which is <laughs> what makes it a perfect catchphrase. <laughs> There's Dynomatic. <laughs> That's his name also. He just says his name. <laughs> he can say other things, but he just chooses not to. Yeah, he's, he's like a Pokemon. He's like, why would I use other <laughs> words when I can say Dynomatic whenever I want? So that's how I draw my mythical creatures, but I've got two professional artists here with me. Who? Yeah, where are they? It's, he, it's you guys. Oh my God. It's what? you guys. Julia. What? You guys are gonna For professional artists. You guys right. are gonna draw some more fantastic creatures of other varieties. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna take a bit of a different approach cool. for my my creatures. I kind of tend to like the more humanoid style, and there's a there's a pretty good trick for making a humanoid like fantastical creature. Ooh, okay. That I will teach you guys. Please teach me. Right I love now. tricks. It's it's a tip. It's a trick. It's a hot take. I'm going with a female body for this one. Nice. I think it serves my yeah, purposes Dynomatic better. Yeah, Dynomatic was, uh, was very much a dude. Got some legs. Most females have legs. Most females have legs. Not all, but most. Not all. Not all. You know. But I mean, if we're being general here. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a fantastical creature, so they don't even... Yeah. Right. Well, well she's probably not going to have legs for all of this. This is my base sketch oh, for... Oh, interesting. Right. I mean, I've, sort of I'm noticing that there. she doesn't have arms. She's going to have some arms, too. Okay. Okay. I'm just getting like a baseline so I can work from it. Okay. okay. You know, like how how I just did a dinosaur but different. You're doing like a person but different. Well, that's like the trick for all fantastical creatures that it's it's people who made them up originally like saw something in nature, you know, and yeah. they were like, "Man, what what if that but different? What if that but like a little different?" Yeah. We're not really creative enough humans yeah. to just like invent something like whole cloth. Right. It's got to be based on something else. There's something there's something that exists that informs the design. What is uh like this. what is this lady's name? Uh, or, Samantha. Samantha. Yeah. Nice. I just see I just combined two things from real life. You combined uh Samantha Sim- Samantha and, and Cynthia, Cynthia to make Samantha. Samantha. 
Okay, so we got Cynthia here. Um, she's she's beautiful. She's beautiful. As you can she's, see, she's perfect. Bella the ball. But then you have to ask the question: How do we make Cynthia fantastical? Uh-huh. And the answer is, just pick any animal part and just put it on her. Oh. And there you go. You add some uh, some like bug wings. Oh, now she's a fairy. We we got a fairy here now. Wow. Watch out, guys. We got a fairy on our hands. <laughs> She looks like the kind of character that comes in and looks really sweet, and then she just like leans into your ear and just. Yeah, there's like a sinister right. side. Yeah. We're gonna get some gonna eyebrows take your here. Teeth. Those teeth are mine. I'm not gonna wait for them to fall out. We're gonna add like a. Oh. Like oh. A bit of a sinister. Oh my oh. god. Oh, okay. Samin- oh no, Samantha. Oh no. A toothy smile. Because <laughs> she's taken your teeth. Oh, those are some big teeth. Yeah, she's got some big chompers. <laughs> they're, they're not hers. Well, they're human teeth. She's much smaller. <laughs> she's just got. Oh man, she's got like taffy gums and she just sticks teeth in there. She's got four human teeth. That's all she can manage to <laughs> oh my fit. God. Hi. Hi, it's me. Um, and then you can add, you know, like uh, some sort of like off the shoulder dressy thing, like oh, like nice. fern gully. It's yeah. like made of like tatters and rags. Yeah, just because you're you're drawing a fantastical creature doesn't mean you can't do a little bit of style. Yeah, you know, and, then, and then now we have a horrid version of the Tooth Fairy. Yeah, this is... Um... Who takes your teeth so she can keep them <laughs> in her own mouth. She takes. She also doesn't wait for them to fall out. She, no, she takes them. She takes them right out your mouth. She doesn't have the patience. Like, she has her mouth closed, you see her in the wild, and you're like, oh my god, I, a fairy, they they do exist. I, I believe, I believe in fairies. And she comes right up to you and just grabs your tooth right out of your mouth. You're like, oh god! Oh god, <laughs> oh! <laughs> Why?! Thank you for the teeth. Thank you for the teeth. But then let's say, you know, maybe you're not into oh. fairies. Uh-oh. And we, we got her here, and it's like... Oh, there go her legs. Just add no. a fish bottom. Add a snake bottom. Whoa. Oh, whoa. So uh, she can fly and slither? One of, the, one of the major tricks for fantastical creatures is take a lady, change her legs into something else. Change your legs into something else. <laughs> yep. You got mermaids. You got um, medusas. You got uh, sphinxes. Uh, yeah, so it's it's pretty easy, and you can do it with, like, any creature. Mm-hmm. I mean, you got, like, you know, cat girls in the Japanese style. In the Japanese style, of course. Get, like, a cat ear on her. She's just going to become just the... Just one uh, cat ear? One cat ear. <laughs> That's all you really need. Yeah, some asymmetry is good. And then for the other ear, horns and ears are the same thing, a right? Horn, a horn tenna. <laughs> yeah, it's a horn tenna. It's She's got a little ball at the top. Ooh. A nightmare patchwork of... Fantastic creatures. Yeah, yeah. you could just take any of these elements, toss them on wherever you want. Yeah, and you got yourself a creature. She's slimy. She's scaly. She's Miss United States. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this this is done. Okay. I want I want Julia to draw okay, now. Okay, great. You, normally we reserve like the horror factor for Julia's drawing, but I didn't intend to go this, this is way. Pretty, it just happened. This is pretty awful. Yeah, you're. Uh... <laughs> You're, I mean, it's a good drawing. You're stealing my shtick, It's Jacob. awful. It's awful for my soul, though. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the villain okay. in this. Um, <laughs> maybe maybe so the, Cynthia. the evil. Cynthia is Cynthia, not the Cynthia. villain. She's chaotic neutral. She, yeah, she, yeah. She just wants teeth. She just you wants know? teeth, and she'll do whatever she needs to to get them. Teeth aren't objectively good or evil. Villains are something that pop up in all manner of lore yeah, and all manner of uh, of storytelling. Well, you yeah. gotta have one. You gotta have one. Uh, you need to have something for your your hero to uh, to be embattled with. Right, and um, there's a lot of symbology that goes into designing villains. Mm-hmm. They're either scrawny dudes or these big like macho guys. But any way that you draw them, they're always angular, which is why when Batman came out, people were kind of like freaking out about him because he, he was, was an anti-hero. Because he was, uh, he was so angular. He had uh, he had all the angles. He had all of the villain colors, technically. Yeah. So villains, like if you look at um, Jafar, look at Jafar. Look at Jafar. You <laughs> notice that his shoulders are really angular. Yes. And his face is angular. And villains are usually built out of uh, triangle and like geometry. Um, triangle and geometry. Triangles. So, so uh, trigonometry. Yeah, trigonometry. <laughs> I'm, Sines, I'm thinking of cosines, guys, I'm feeling great today. <laughs> tangents. The, uh, the Emperor's New Groove. That, oh, uh, Yzma. Yeah, Yzma, she's yeah. like all points. Yeah. yeah. She's literally all points. Yeah. And then if you think of, you know, good good guy, pa- Pacha. Pacha. 
He's all he's all circles. He's all John Goodman. He's all John Goodman. <laughs> he's a good man. If you're drawing a good guy, uh, just draw John Goodman. John, Go- he's got it right in his name. Yeah. I'm imagining there's just like a really nice person who has a real angular face and thin lips watching this. Like, hey, <laughs> am I the am I the bad guy? Am I a bad guy? We've just like this is someone's. This is the beginning of someone's villain arc. Yeah. <laughs> they just watch a drop. Well, I watched this YouTube video and they said that I was a villain, so I was like, okay. I, I guess, guess I'll go do a crime. I guess I'll I guess I'll steal an orphanage. Steal an orphanage. Guys, don't steal orphanages. <laughs> don't, don't steal an orphanage. <laughs> Watching the slick back hair reminded me of, um, I don't know if you guys ever played Devil May Cry 3. Yeah. And I just was reminded in that game, uh, because you play as Dante, who's the main guy. Yeah. But the villain is his brother, Virgil, who looks just like him. Yeah. But at the beginning of the game, Virgil actually becomes the villain and slicks back his hair. Oh, my God. In a cut scene. (laughs) And it never unslicks back. He's, He's the villain from then on. Yeah. Once he slicks back the hair... All bad. Draco Malfoy. Draco Malfoy. Draco Malfoy slick slick slicking back it back. We're perpetuating this culture that associates slicked back hair with villainy. And uh, I'm okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Is he just in like a business suit? Oh, the most villain. I feel like Is everything. He an office villain. <laughs> Everything I draw, I feel like, starts off with a business suit. Yeah, Julia has a lot of uh, antagonism towards uh, towards businessmen. <laughs> yeah, this is just like Dave. Oh. Dave from accounting is the office villain, and he has to have like a big sweeping. Oh, he's got that's a... his tie. That's he's, he's got... Dave from accounting. He's, got... he's not is, is Dave a, from accounting. Is this accounting. a magical amulet? No, it's, it's... he always leaves oh, food on a, his desk. It's a is a big uh, an ascot. That's a big tie. It's not, oh my God. Boys. It's a cape. Boys are killing me. It's yes, a cape. It's a cape. It's a cape. It's a cape with like a, a button in the middle. Yeah, where it clasps. It's a clasp. It's cape. a very windy day. He's wearing his tie. He's, he's wearing his fat, fat he's tie. wearing his fat tie. It's blowing over his shoulders. He was wearing his fat tie one day and it blew over his shoulders and he was like, oh man, I'd look sweet in a cape. Yeah, and that was the same day he slicked his hair back. Yeah. And he, became bad Dave. Mild, mild-mannered Dave from accounting. <laughs> Slicks his hair back and becomes a bad Dave. He becomes Davius. Just to recap, we've got, what, was it Dynomatic? Was Dynomatic. Dynomatic. Yeah. Dynomatic, Cementhia. Cementhia, that's right. Dynomatic, Cementhia, and Dave from Accounting. D- Dave from Accounting, yeah. <laughs> our, our most fantastical creatures. Okay, you know what? If he's Dave from Accounting, you know what he needs? He needs a little... He needs a pocket protector? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like that guy who's trying way too hard to look cool. <laughs> and like everyone sees right through it. He's constantly doing like small bits of evil throughout the day. Yeah. He's like, like he, messing he sends you an up. email like really late, so you have to like rush to get something done. Yeah, he's crunching the numbers and bones. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, you succeeded in making this video uh, about creatures uh, into mostly people. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can add. You know, okay. Fine. Creat- creatures is a uh, is a broad term. You can't change us, Nathan. See, Julie is taking some of my advice now. Yeah. Which I'm is learning on the fly. Add an animal part. Add an animal part. And now you got yourself. A I need accounting beat. Satan, is what I've yeah. done. <laughs> Dave, can you take those horns off? It's Davius now. Yeah. <laughs> and no, I won't take them off. No. Yeah, that's still how he talks. <laughs> I love these videos because our drawing styles are so different. And like how you were talking about how you would not be able to uh, bust out a drawing like Dynomatic. I certainly would not be able to make a drawing like this. Yeah. So whether you're trying to make yourself a, a dino or just a, a real a real liney faced accountant. Sh- accountant. Sh- shady shady accountant. We got you covered. We got you covered. And if you're trying to draw something that we didn't cover, maybe go to Skillshare. Once again, premium membership uh, begins at just eight dollars a month. But you can get your first three months for just ninety nine cents. That's such a ridiculously good deal. Yeah. Coupon code drop it. Yeah, it's three months. So get in there. Get learning. Get on in there. Learn. Um, you'll learn so much more than you could ever learn from watching Drawfee. We get so many comments on our videos about people who are interested in getting more into art. Yeah, just do it, man. Just do it, man. Start today. Start today. Why wait? Why wait? Don't. Don't. <laughs> just don't do it. <laughs> Start. That's the first. 
that's the uh, first step to improving yeah. is starting. That's genuinely good advice. Yeah. That I often have to remind myself of when I get stuck in ruts. You just have to keep pushing through it's it like and just, get through it. Just start. Just do something. Uh, if you take a class in Skillshare and make something that uh, that you really like, maybe tweet at us and yeah. uh, we'll retweet it. We love let seeing us know fan what, art. Yeah, let us know what classes you're taking. Yeah, too. let us know what maybe classes we'll you're taking and uh, we'll take some too. Yeah. This has been Drawfee oh. and uh, we are very sorry. It's Davius! <laughs> <laughs>